Good morning from Le Genevre on this rather glorious Saturday morning. Um, so I've decided to make hay while the sun shines, or, you know, rather make a video before it rains, take advantage of the situation and make my video and take my dog out early this morning. Well, early, it's 11 o'clock, it's not really that early. But anyway, so I wanted to talk to you today about the word of the moment. So it's a word that's been in all the newspapers and on all the news broadcasters lips in the last few weeks and it's probably going to stay there until I'm hoping the latest, the 4th of November. Yes, the word is Trump. So you all know and love President Trump, but it's also a word that we use in English. So Trump card actually comes from the game of tarot and it's one of the cards one of the 22 cards which has a specific design or represents a tradition and has some kind of purpose I can't play tarot so that's about all I can tell you about that but I can tell you that we use this word in certain expressions in English so Trump also means the sound that a trumpet makes you know that hollow loud sound that can sometimes hurt your ears I'm not going to say any more than that um, so if you come up trumps, it means that you win when you weren't expected to win or you do better than you were expected to do. So we could say that in the 2016 elections, Donald Trump came up trumps. To come up trumps also means to be very generous and helpful. Um, so that's one that probably doesn't apply to our favorite POTUS. But for example, I could say, when my mum was ill, my auntie Elaine really came up trumps. That means she was really helpful, she brought us food, she took me to school, she came up trumps. If you play a trump card in life, that means that you use a secret trick, or you play an advantage, or you do something unexpected as a surprise, which helps you to win or to, to do better than you were thought to do. Another one is to trump something up. If you trump something up, that means that you make up more charges or you exaggerate something a little bit. So, you know, if my students come in really late and instead of just saying, sorry, I'm late, they say, oh my goodness, miss, I, you know, my bus was late and then there was, you know, a deer crossing the road, so I was even later. And I go, mm, I think you've trumped up that excuse just a little bit. And to trump something or someone is to surpass them by doing or saying something better than what they've done or said. So I could say, for example, that scientific evidence shows that wearing face coverings lowers your risk of getting COVID. And that trumps any arguments by those who think that barrier gestures are useless. I'm not going to name any names once again. Right, so that sums up my video for today. I hope that you've learned some new and, you know, quite appropriate uses for the word Trump in the English language, and I will see you again quite soon. Have a good weekend.